It may sound strange, but there is such a thing as normal scarring. Scarring, as we now know, is the end point to the full thickness wound healing process. And normal scarring is the result of uncomplicated healing of such a wound. Normal scar tissue is decolorized and flat, nearly unrecognizable from the rest of the skin. When a wound is well taken care of, most scars will fade into unobtrusive components of the skin surface. Recall the three-step process of wound healing. If this process occurs without complication in a dermal injury, a normal scar results. In the simplest terms, when dealing with injuries of the skin and absent complicating factors such as infection, the type, size, cause, location, and especially depth of injury will determine whether a scar results. In general, injuries that penetrate only the epidermis will heal without a resulting scar. The epidermis is one of those infrequent body organs, also including gastrointestinal tract epithelium, tracheobronchial epithelium, liver parenchyma, bone, and smooth muscle that can regenerate itself. So after a superficial injury, what we termed a partial thickness wound, the epidermis simply reforms in the defect. This is called epithelialization. Within 24 hours, basal layer cells in injured, healthy skin begin to multiply or proliferate and stream across the denuded surface to recreate an intact epidermal layer. The dermis layer of the skin beneath the epidermis presents another story, for it cannot regenerate itself. Nevertheless, wounds that penetrate the epidermis and only the upper part of the dermis will also often heal without scar formation. This may have sounded like a contradiction, but the singular anatomy of the epidermis and dermis enables it. Within the dermis are hair follicles, oil glands, and sweat glands. These appendages, you recall, originate in the epidermis. From that origin, they penetrate down into the dermis while remaining enveloped in epidermal cells. When a wound involves just the upper part of the dermis without scraping out these appendages, epithelial cells pocketing these appendages will proliferate and stream out of these structures to form a new, intact epidermis. With this kind of wound, still considered a partial thickness wound, there is no true scar formation, although additional collagen is stimulated to form in the dermis. This additional collagen will tend to tighten the skin and is in part the reason that we perform procedures that stimulate collagen. Microdermabrasion, deeper dermabrasion, chemical peels, and laser resurfacing. But, generally speaking, dermal injuries will produce scars. When the dermis itself is completely penetrated or disrupted, even by hairline cuts from a surgical scalpel or laser beam, the dermis can't regenerate and instead heals by the formation of nonspecific connective tissue, otherwise known as scarring, in what we termed a full thickness wound. Scars need not be obvious. All things being equal, if the gap between the edges of the wound is very narrow, an excellent scar, a very unobtrusive one, should be all that remains.